Washington industry has taken a new step forward. A local butcher says he's found a way to infuse his meats with marijuana. And he's selling it at the center of all things Seattle. Como Force Lindsay Cohen has this story new at five. Inside a Seattle icon, you'll find some of the sweetest sounds and even sweeter tastes. Wow. wow. You can't get that in Minneapolis, so can you? The pig is stuck. But in the place where Rachel the pig beckons visitors to fatten her with their spare change, oh, money I owe. it's a different divine swine making headlines today. I kept this one piece and I'm actually going to make a prosciutto out of it. Deep inside the meat locker at the oldest butcher in Pike Place Market, there's a new meat high on the hook. Here, I made bacon out of them. You might call it smoked since this porker was fed pot. Here in the butcher shop, we're able to, to make everything you can imagine. Somebody requests something and uh, we make it and then make some extra of it and see if people like it. Dr. William von Schneidau has been experimenting with meat for a while now. And on here, what would you put on it? So but he can't remember how he came up with the idea to make stoned swine. I don't smoke, but I mean, I guess it's foggy. No, I'm just joking. He took the leftovers from a medical marijuana grower, had it fed to pigs, and soon they were here in his shop, bringing a whole new meaning to the idea of the pot-bellied pork. It, it just got so popular, and then we ran out. We ran out of meat. So. A popular run in March put pot pigs on the map. He plans to experiment more in the coming months. I ate it and I don't feel a damn difference. We haven't fed him any sour pickles yet, but we'll see what happens, you know? A meaty issue on the menu. Pizza. In this city rule. By the sea. In Seattle, Lindsay Cohen Como, 4 News.